الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله ما بعد As the month of Ramadan draws to an end There is no doubt that it is a sad occasion for the believer The Muslim that has been standing and fasting throughout the month Has increased in Iman and Ihsan That the co- coming to the close of the month is not a pleasant experience And this is why you will find many of the Salaf Actually becoming very sad and upset and even scared at the end of Ramadan it's well known that Ali radiallahu an used to be scared that his deeds had not been accepted because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Inma min al-muttaqeen. Surely Allah only accepts from the people of taqwa Is he a person of taqwa? Have you attained taqwa? Therefore this whole month has it been successful for you or not? Well known that Umar bin Abdul Aziz rahimahullah on the day of Eid he used to go out to the people and he used to remind them that you have stood for 30 days you have fasted for 30 days are you sure that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has accepted it from you? Wahhabi bin Munabbih, rahimahullah, found people on the day of Eid, Eid al-Fitr, laughing. And he says, Ya ajib al how strange is this? If this person has fasted and stood for the month of Ramadan, now he's laughing on the day of Eid, this is not the behavior of those people who are thankful. And if he is laughing on the day of Eid and he doesn't know that he has attained taqwa, and this is not the behavior of a person who fears for his deeds being accepted. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, the coming and the end of Ramadan is not a pleasant experience for the believer. But more so, it actually reminds a person of the coming of the end of his life. And Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah said that Ramadan is like an arena, it's like a stadium where people compete to do good deeds. And at the end of the month, what happens? You recite Falak and Nas when you're at final khatma and you close the book, and there's no time in Ramadan left for you to start another khatma. Salat al Tahajjud, Salat al Tarawi finishes in Jama'ah, and there's not going to be another Jama'ah. Your last day of fasting has been concluded, and it becomes haram for you to fast after that day because it is the day of Eid al Fitr. You part with your wealth just like you would do when you leave the life of this dunya. My brothers and sisters, the end of Ramadan is very similar to the end of your life. Everything comes to a close and an end, whether you want it to come to an end or not. <laughs> Hence the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, لِسَّائِمْ فُرْحَةً For the person who is fasting, he has two joyous moments. Farhatun in the Niqai When he meets his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala He is ecstatic And this The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Brings it As a comparison to Farhatun in the Fitri When he breaks his fast When he breaks his fast on a daily basis When he breaks his fast at the end of the month Ibn Rajab Alhamdulillah rahimahullah said this is a day of Eid, a day of celebration, a day of joy, but the true day of Eid is when you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can we not now see how Ramadan has been given to us by our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala in order for us to benefit? Ibn Qayyim rahimahullah said, from Ramadan to Ramadan is a person checking where he is in his connection with Allah, where he is with the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, the end of Ramadan, the coming to the close of Ramadan, my brothers and sisters, is very similar to how you will leave the life of this dunya. Your deeds are finished and you will only be left to account for yourself. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we end Ramadan with his ridwan and his pleasure. And that he makes this as a proof for us and an intercession for us, Yawm Al-Qiyamah. And that he brings about goodness and glory for the Muslim Ummah. And they're attached back to the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whilst we still have the ability and the chance to do so. Wallahu a'lam. Wa sallallahu ala nabiyyina Muhammad.